Hi everyone, it's me, Larut Sankapung from Christian Discipleship International Bible Seminary, Dimapur Nagaland. This is another opportunity that I'm taking up uh, to share a few thoughts from the Bible. Uh, since we all have been going through this lockdown, we are unable to go to church and hear messages from our pastor, but some of us are spending time with our family members at home and then have a time of praise and worship together. This morning our passage is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 through to verse 21. Verse 15 it says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time because the days are evil. That's what the Bible says. Now, uh, Apostle Paul is encouraging the Ephesian believers, saying that look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. Now, I just want to tell you and just want to remind you uh, about how you spend your time, how you waste your time, every single second, every single minute, every single day that you live. How do you spend your time? I just want to tell you today. Please uh, examine, re-examine yourself how you spend your time today. Is it uh, according to the will of God? Is it how God expects you to do? Is it what, what God wants you to do? Is it uh, how God wants to live? How, how God wants you to live? This is the right time to consider ourselves, to examine ourselves, how we spend our time. Because the day that we are going through this day, it is a hard time, it is a difficult time for each one of us. We are all going through this uh, COVID-19 uh, disease, which is spreading all over the world. And many people, many scientists, doctors and nurses are trying to find out the solution to get rid of, all, to get rid of this disease. Uh, uh, this is the hard time that we we are going through. We do not know what is going to sh what God is going to say to this uh, to this uh, sickness to the people. But one thing that I can assure you is that God wants you to live according to His will, according to uh, His way, according to how He expects you to do, how He expects you to live. This is one thing that I can assure each one of you today. That is why uh, the Bible says in uh, the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, Look carefully then how you walk, not as a wise, but as wise. Let us spend our days, let us spend our time carefully, wisely, according to the will of God. That's what God wants us to do. In verse 16 it says, making the best use of the time because of the days, because the days are evil. That's what it says. Making the best use of our time simply means, is, uh, we should utilize our time. We should uh, spend our time wisely because the day that the day that we are going through right now is a new day. We are not going to uh, get any more better day or the best day in our life. He is going to get worse and worse and worse and worse because the world is developing it and the world is going to uh, different kinds of penalties and hardships. Uh, it's all about, uh, you know, the life, the life here on earth. In verse 17 it says, that, Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. What does it say? Do not be foolish. The, the life that you spend, the life that you live, do not live like a foolish people who do not have a, a, right, a, a, a right way of thinking, a right way of doing things. You understand? Never consider uh, the, the, the preciousness of the life. God wants you to live according to His will. God wants you to, God wants you to live according to His, His thinking, according to how, how, he, how He wants you to live. But as foolish people, sometimes we really don't understand about God and the way that God wants us to live. We never, never try to even understand. We try to live as our own because we think that the life and the time and the day that we live on all are our own. It is not created by us. It is created by God who gives us opportunity, who gives us this precious time to live on. 
But you and I never, never realize the fact that it's all given by God. It's all given by God. It's not your own. It's not my own. It is not created by me. It is not created by you. It is God who created everything on this, in this universe. It is God who created you, in fact. If it is God who created your life, then you ought to live according to His will. In verse 18 it says, And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. That leads in an excessiveness. Especially the youth, the Christian youth today. How do we spend our time? Are we spending our time with alcohol, with different kind of uh, intoxicated thing during this lockdown? Are we spending our time in gambling during this lockdown? Are we spending our time in drinking alcohol? Are we spending time with our boyfriends and our, our girlfriends in different kinds of physical pleasure? It is not that what God wants us to do that. It is God who wants us to live a holy and a sanctified life today. I just want to challenge each one of us today. How do you use your time this during this lockdown? I was I just want to remind each one of us today that the life that we live during this lockdown is it for the glory of God? It is according to your will. Is it according to the will of God? It is according to the, the physical pleasure that you have in your life. It is the time to think about how you spend your time during this lockdown. In verse 18 it says, And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. Anything that you do during this lockdown, is it excessive in your life? Are you giving your time to God? Are you spending time with God? Are you praying to God? Are you uh, praising God by singing psalms, singing hymns in your life? Here it says, there is a big contrast, contrast given by Apostle Paul when he says, Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. It says, but be filled with the Spirit. What does it say? But be filled with the Holy Spirit. Do not get drunk with wine. Do not get drunk with all kinds of physical pleasures, physical desires, but be filled with the Spirit. That is, the, that is what the Bible says. Be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. That's what the Bible says. What does it say? During this lockdown, let us not waste our time enjoying according to the physical way of life. But let's remember that it is God who is giving us this a very precious time. In time, we are not going to have even this kind of time. You will not have an opportunity. You will not have even a free time to praise God, to sing pleasant to you, to say the word of God. But it is the right time for you to think, to consider again and again the day that you have today. It is God who has given you freedom to pray. It is, it is God who has given you uh, freedom to share the word of God, His word, to sing song, to sing praise and praise. That's why I say, be filled with the Spirit. What does the Bible say about the fruit of the Spirit? Those who are being filled with the Holy Spirit. Those who are being filled by the Holy Spirit. What do they have in their life? Do they play gambling? Do they play uh, uh, different kinds of physical desire? Anything that uh, can ruin your life? Can ruin your spiritual life? Can ruin your physical life? Are you drinking an alcohol? Are you spending time in gambling? Are you spending time with your your um, your girlfriends, your boyfriends? Spending time uh, and, uh, with a physical pleasure? But it says here, be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody, melody to the Lord with your heart. 
What does the Bible say in the book of Galatians chapter 5? The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's what it says. Do we have any of these fruits that the Holy Scripture mentions in the Bible? If you are a believer who is being filled with the Holy Spirit, you are expected to have this kind of fruit in your life. That's what the Bible says. What does it say? This is the time that we are going to. We are going through this lockdown. Let us take this an opportunity to share the word of God to the people. Let's tell about the love of God to the unbelieving people. Let us share. It is a duty to take this time as privilege, an opportunity to share the word of God. To tell about the love of God to the people. You and I are believers. This is the time that we should address to one another in psalms. Let us sing praise unto him. With the, with the believers in the world. It might not be possible for us to get in uh, to, to get together in one place singing psalms together, praising the name of our God. But it is the time that we can have together through media and through different kinds of means. Let us address one another in psalms. Let us sing some hymns, let us sing some spiritual songs, and let us make some melodies in our hearts to the Lord. This is what God wants us to do. How do you spend your time? Let us try to think and let us try to examine ourselves today. Do you waste simply your time? Are you spending our time in reading the Bible? Are you spending time in singing praise unto God? Or are you spending time in your own will? This is the right time to check for Christian today. In verse 20 it says giving thanks always and for everything to God. The Father, what does it say? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks always and for everything. It is a very challenging verse for each one of us today. Do we give thanks to God in times of lockdown? Do we give thanks to God in times of hardship, difficulty that we are going through right now? Many, I know, and many of us are not even having enough food in our home. I know that uh, many of us are uh, not having even enough money to spend and to use for our essential needs today during this lockdown. How do you, do you, consider, you consider yourself during this time? Do you realize that it is God who has given you these, these blessings? Do you realize, do you acknowledge God in our life in this difficult time of, in this kind of situation? How do you acknowledge God? Or are you cursing God in your life? Oh God, why do you send this, this sickness? You may have a question in your life. But still God gives us an opportunity. We still have freedom to speak, to sing, and to share His love towards the people. So I just want to challenge each one of us this morning. In verse 20 it says, giving thanks to the Lord during this time, during this time, this kind of situation that we are going through in our life. It is a time to thank God. You may think that this is difficult. It is difficult for me. I cannot praise God. I cannot thank God. But it is wrong. 
As Christians, we cannot expect good things in our life. We cannot expect only good things in our life. Sometimes we should expect bad things in our life. Misery in our life. Because these are all inevitable. inevitable. These are all unavoidable for the Christians. That is why Apostle Peter says in his labor, Do not surprise of the fiery child that you are going to your tasting right now. These are all inevitable. These are all unavoidable. It is the world that we live in. It is a harsh world. It is a sinful world that we are living in. We cannot expect all things good. In fact, we should always expect bad things in our life. Because we are sinful people. Maybe God, God wants to tell you something in through this sickness. Maybe God wants to tell you something good for this sickness, through this sickness. Let us always thank God for everything that we have in our life. Everything that we face in our life. Hardship, troubles, difficulty, misery, anything that can come along in our life. In the light of that, God wants us to praise Him. God wants us to be thankful to Him because He is a God who knows everything and who knows the best for you. That is the best for you. Whatever God does in your life is the best, the best for you. What does it say in verse 21? Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Let us give thanks to the Lord always during the time, during this time of lockdown, during the difficult time and the hardship, trouble, difficulty that we, we go through. Let us thank God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us submit to one another out of reverence for God. This is the mandate duty, the mandate duty of Christians today. Let us then carefully walk as Christians, as believers in Christ, not as unwise, but as wise, counting every second, every single minute, every single day that we live. Because we ought to live according to the will of God. Let us try to make the best use of our time. Because the day that we are going through are uh, all evil days. We cannot expect a uh, oh, good day, a better day, bad days in our life. We are going to go through worse and worse, worse and worse in our life. Let us not try to live a, a, like a foolish people. Let us not try to uh, be done with one. Let us not try to uh, spend time in gambling. Let us not try to spend time with our with our, uh, 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 our boyfriends, our girlfriends in physical pleasure. Let us try to remember God in our life. Uh, it says that be filled with the Spirit, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us try to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Let us try to have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control in our life. These are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. If we are filled with the Holy Spirit, these are all to be in our life today. Let us try to advance one another in psalms, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to one another in our hearts to the Lord. This is what God wants us to do. Let us always give thanks to the Lord during this lockdown. Let us always give thanks to the Lord. Uh, 
during that situation, difficult situation that we face in our life, no matter what, what whatever circumstance, no, no matter whatever uh, situation comes along in our life, let us try to remember God, let us try to give thanks to Him, let us try to live according to His will. This is what God wants us to do. This is what God expects you, God expects you to do in your life. May God bless every one of us through this message. Thank you.